today. I thought you were a bird. I was looking for a bird today. Well, it's springtime, also known as migration time. That's right. It's a great time to look for birds as they migrate, especially in the spring, because in the winter they have gone south, maybe even to South America. And as it gets warmer, they're going to be traveling north, and they might fly right past us. Well, hi, my name is Asteroid Amber, and I'm here with High Touch High Tech, and today we are going to be making a bird feeder in our bird feeder experiment. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a cardboard tube like this. We have just a paper towel. You could also try it with a toilet paper tube or maybe even a wrapping paper tube. Whatever you've got on hand. Recycle. Reuse. So we're going to take a tube like this and we're going to use a hole puncher. The first thing we're going to do is punch two holes so that we can hang a string from our tube to a tree. All right, so I'm going to punch one. I punched one on that side, and the other one I want to be directly across from it. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now my holes are lined up across from each other, and that part is done. Perfect. All right, the next thing we need to do is create some slits to put our little popsicle sticks or craft sticks in. This is going to be the perch for the birds because they've got to have somewhere to sit, right? So we're going to use an X-Acto knife. Now kids, this would be a great thing for your parent to help you with because these guys can be pretty sharp. So let's put our uh, tube down on a flat surface and at about three inches up, I'm going to just create a slit with my X-Acto knife. Now I want my slit to be a horizontal slit so that when my popsicle stick slides through it will be going in the right direction, be flat for the birds to sit on. So I all want my other um, slit to be directly across from it once again. So I just kind of use my fingers as a guide. If you wanted to be more scientific you could use a ruler. That would be even better. Okay. So I've got my two slits across from each other, and let's just check it first and see if my popsicle stick will be able to slide through there, if I've done a good enough job making my slits before we get it coated with peanut butter and, and, and it's all yucky. All right, so there we go. That's pretty good, and it's not exactly even, but you know what? The birds aren't going to care as long as they have somewhere to rest their little feet. All right? So that one was good. Now let's, we need to do another one at the top. You could make it go maybe the other way, just for fun. Okay, so once again, three or four inches down. Since I put my holes right there at the top, I'm going to go more, probably closer to four inches. Okay, and I want to flip it over. Let's see if we can get a nice place for our popsicle stick to rest. And here it comes through on the other side. Lovely. Look at that. Okay. So that's the base for our bird, uh, bird feeder. Okay. Perfect. Now, safety first. Make sure you close that X-Acto knife and put that to the side. Okay. So we are finished with that part. So let's go ahead and remove our popsicle sticks and save those for later. And we're going to use a tray or a paper plate, something to hold your bird seed in. Otherwise, it's going to run everywhere and make a mess. And then we're going to use some peanut butter. or You could use sun butter made out of sunflower seeds if you have a nut allergy or soy butter. Anything like that would be great. All right. And the birds love it. So it serves two purposes. Not only is it sticky, so it will help hold the bird seed on, but also the birds love the taste of it. So this is a treat for the birds. They will enjoy coming here to your bird feeder to get a tasty treat. If I were a bird, I think I would like to land on this bird feeder because it smells so good. If you like the smell of peanut butter, that is. Alright, so I'm just using a plastic knife. You could use a spoon, the back of a spoon to spread it on. 
whatever you've got handy. All right, I think we're almost all the way around. In no time at all, we will have our very own bird feeder. Okay, lovely. So I've got my peanut butter all the way around on my cardboard tube here. All right, so now for the fun part, right? The birds need to eat bird seed. So we're going to use some bird seed. I'm going to pour it in this tray that I have. Let's see how that does. All right, and I'm going to just roll this around in here. Okay, I'm going to give it a little, spread it out a little bit, kind of press it as you roll. So it sticks on there. Look at how nice that looks. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. These birds will be very lucky. And so the reason why the spring is a great time to do this is because birds might be migrating. They might be flying by looking for a, a yummy meal. They might need a break from the flight. They might be going north for the summer and they are on their way. And as you can imagine, if you were coming all the way from the south, some even might be coming from South America, they're really tired and they need a good rest. So this is kind of like a, a rest stop for the birds. Now, there could be birds that you have all year round that don't migrate um, that you might see uh, in, your, in your backyard all the time. And that's great too, because we love having all sorts of birds, whether they be cardinals or blue jays or you know different types of songbirds like a finch. I really love to see finches when they come to my house. All right, so now we have our tube and it is covered with the peanut butter and the bird seed. So now here's the tricky part. Finding the places where we put the notches for the popsicle stick. So I'll give you a tip. I can look inside the bird feeder and see where the slit is from inside. And then I'm just going to kind of wiggle my stick and there it is. I found it just like that. And then watching through inside the bird feeder once again, I can see where that slit is when I push my stick through. Okay? So that's one. And to do the same thing, I'm going to flip it over just to make it easier to see where those slits are. All right, so I'm just going to find where it looks like it is, wiggle, wiggle, and there goes my popsicle stick right through there. Once again, you can see that slit, giving it a wiggle, and there we go. So the last thing that we need to do is put our string on here because we need a way to attach our bird feeder to a tree or something that it's going to hang from. All right, so we're going to grab a string. If you have a longer string, that's great, or some pieces of string that you can tie together, that'll work too. I'm trying to see what I've got here. All right, so that will work lovely. So I'm going to take this string here and thread it through my hole. Do -do. And I'm going to just go ahead and thread it through the other side. Now you could tie it to one side and then tie it to the other. It's really up to you how you want to put your string in there. But I just like to thread it through and then tie it together at the top. Like that. Alright. And so we have made our very own bird feeder. So now we've got our bird feeder hanging on a tree. And make sure you take a look at your observation chart that you also have. And on your observation chart, you'll be able to look and see what kind of bird you might have. And you can list the sighting location and even the sighting day and time as well. So you can kind of keep track, keep a little record of what you have found. Well, guys, I hope you have a wonderful time and happy birding to you.